happy. So today's video is not going to be about um, necessarily putting or assembling the keychain together. It will be about how I designed, how I made the design um, in design space in order to be cut out on the Cricut machine so that I can place um, the correct size or design on the acrylic blanks. So I'll put a little footage to show you how it looks, um, but that's what we're doing today. So I'm gonna act like, you know, I don't have it in there already. So I'm gonna select new project. Hope you guys are doing well today. What happened there? All right, new project. All right, so we're in new project um and we're going to upload okay so you see i have it already here but i'm going to show you what i did because i had to remove the background so even though it's on a white background i still had to remove it for the purposes of putting it on like a round canvas i'm going to show you why so upload okay and i'm going to go to downloads here we go all right so you guys see, I have it downloaded here right now. It's on a square image, but the I want to make a round keychain, and I want to put it on a round circle in the background. So, so what I'm going to do, I can do. There's two things I can do actually. But what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to remove the background. Um, so if we put um, this is simple, high contrast, monochrome background. This is detailed, um, you know, for more detailed things. And this is fine, complex, blended colors. Okay. Um, so I think I might go with that one. And then I'm going to press continue. Now, what we have to do here is uh, we're going to click. And you see everything here is moved. Now, I'm going to make this bigger because... Um, I want to get some more of that white so I'm not gonna remove it for the butter from the butterflies but I'm gonna click here because I want to remove the white from right there and if I zoom in a little more you can see that inside of the O is white and inside of the E now it won't it won't really matter because I'm put on a back black a white background however I just feel like removing it so I'm just clicking inside those areas because I want the background to be clear. So everything looks good pretty much here. Of course, I'm not going to remove the white from the sewing machine. I will leave that there because it's supposed to have a bit of a, you know, that white color in it. Um, so that's good for now. I'm gonna zoom out and it looks good. All right, so now we are going to apply and continue now what we want to do is we want to do um we don't want to cut this image out but we want to cut the circle out with the image on it so we're going to do a print and then cut image okay so we're going to select print and then cut and then we're going to upload this now when i upload i'm going to select the last one that i did and I'm going to add it to the canvas. This keychain is a front and back. I'm going to show you the front, only the front today, okay? Because it's pretty much the same thing you're doing on both sides. It's just a little different. Now, uh, maybe I'll show you the back. All right, so now you can see, you can see the background through everything. You see that it's not white. You can see the background. So this is a fully see-through uh, picture right now and logo except for what I left out right and the reason oh don't want to do that i unlocked the image okay so the image is locked you want to make sure that before you you know make it bigger or smaller that you lock make sure it's locked so that you can you know everything will increase or decrease proportionately now i want to go to shapes and i want a white circle which it doesn't have to be white, but I'm going to choose a circle, okay? And I'll just make the circle um, maybe gray for now. Could make it white. That's fine because you're going to see, you're going to see the black circle around it right here for the purposes of so you can see what you're doing. 
Now I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger and I'm just gonna take, uh, let me just switch the layers around. All right, so I wanted that on top. Now, um, let's see if we can get that in the middle. Um, don't know what happened there just now, but I'm gonna put this here and then Let's see, uh, it's not a range. Well, it should be a line, but okay, let me see, a line. Center horizontally, okay, then center vertically. Okay, there we go. That looks pretty good. However, I'm gonna move it over a little bit. Uh, see what, cause what you wanna look at is you see the distance between the J to the end of the circle and the S to the other end. This middle circle might be a little bit off here, but you wanna make sure you can't have the J all the way over. Okay, so if we, let me show you what I'm talking about. If we center the circle, then what you're gonna have is you're gonna, the J is gonna be too close to this end and then the S is gonna have a big gap and you're going to see it and you're going to notice it on um, the design. So I'm going to move it a little bit um, like that. Uh, uh, I want the sewing machine to be straight that Josephine's is supposed to be. So it's fine if the circle in the middle is a little off. I wanna make sure there's enough distance here cause I don't want the letter to be too close to the edge. Okay. So this looks good. Um, right now that looks good now what I'm gonna do let me see if I could just bring that down a little bit all right hold up hold up remember to like subscribe and hit that notification bell now back to the video the way they the way the design is it just doesn't allow for this circle here to be in the in directly inside the circle because this of itself is practically the whole logo. So we'll work with that for now. So that's how it goes in there, right? Now um, that little circle around there is bothering me, but that's okay. So what we're gonna do is we are going to press down on the mouse, hold and you're going to drag it over both the outside circle and the logo. That way both of them will be selected together. Then we are gonna come down here and we are going to press attach. We wanna attach them together. That way if we move it, it's connected. Now, because we are printing and then cutting, if we do not press flatten, which means that they're pretty much, um, how would you say, they're, they're, they're merged into one another. It, they become one. Flat The flattening button, when you press that, it, mean, it, it means that they, they become one, okay? If you do not press flatten and you press make, just uh, um, attach and weld, um, welding does also merge them. However, when you go to actually like cut on the... Um, after printing, when you actually go to cut on the machine, the Cricut, it is going to cut, it is going to trace this out here, okay? So we don't want that. So we're gonna make sure up here is on basic cut, that's fine. Print then cut, standard, okay? And we're going to flatten, okay? I'm just gonna drag over here once more. Huh. Click and I'm gonna flatten, so you see you see this here? This is how it should look. The black border has been um, moved. And this right here together means it'll, it's been flattened. Now, so when you go click on make it, this is how it will look. Don't be alarmed. It's going to print with this black border um, here on the paper. And that that is so when you are printing on the Cricut, it, there are sensors in the Cricut and it's going to uh, scan these lines here. It's going to scan these lines um, to make sure that every, you know, pretty much to confirm where it's supposed to cut. So that is the reason of the black border being here. When it's time to cut, you're going to see that 
it's going to go over the four the border pretty much first um let me show you something else if i cancel this now you can duplicate this of course um i usually use a 12 by 12 sheet you know so pretty much i'll put it up to here now if you want to duplicate this i'm going to show you press the duplicate button here and then you're just going to click here hold and then you're just going to drag okay and then i'm going to put duplicate again see and click hold and just drag again duplicate again then i'm going to click hold and just drag again so now i have four now it's going to print whatever printer you're using you're going to put i'm going to show you the the paper that i use you're going to insert the um i use printable printable vinyl um, and pr the printable vinyl can only be used with a an inkjet printer. So you have to be, you have to make sure that when you're doing this project, you are using an inkjet printer and to make things easier. I, I don't use regular sticker paper. I use printable vinyl. Um, and this is also because I use resin on top of that. And I am familiar with using vinyl, permanent vinyl with resin. So I know that it is not going to soak through the paper like regular resin. I know that is going to sit on top, but it's not going to soak through. So those are my reasons for specifically using printable vinyl. And I do use the Cricut brand. If there's another brand out there that you know that's equally good, let me know in the comment. So now that we have four, I'm going to press make it. Now you see it was too big for me to put uh, it's too big for me to put four on one page, right? So it put another one. So if you intend on printing the, the logo, a logo this big, then you can use multiple sheets, um, of your, your mat board. You can use two mat boards and you can put two sheets on there, but I'm going to go back because the, the keychain I'm making is actually two by two and I forgot to, to um, lower the size here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these. Okay, and I'm gonna click on this one and I'm going to resize it because it's actually a two by two. Well, okay, let me correct myself because this was trial and error. Now the keychain blank of itself is two inches by two inches. However, I'm going to make the sticker 1.96. I, I believe that's what I made it the last time. 1.96, press enter, by 1.96 inches. Why? Because if you if you print your um if you print your label at the same size of, of the, the keychain blank it is going to overlap. So when you put the two inches on the keychain blank, you're going to see a little bit of the white of the label overlapping. And you don't wanna do all that cutting. So what I do is I make it a little bit smaller. Even if you have a tiny, tiny clear border around, that's fine. So I make it, you know, I take off about four points off of there and I make it 1.96 and that way, it's pretty much just about the size of the, don't ask me the logic, the logic, but hey. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to duplicate and I'm gonna do four. And you're gonna see that all of them are gonna be on the same paper because I've now made it smaller. It's gonna be on the same mat board and the same paper. I'm going to click make it. Now you see here, okay. So it's gonna be across here. Now, for some reason, let's just say you don't have a full piece of paper, or, you know, whatever, whatever you're using, you can move this around. If you want it to be in a row, you can move that there. You can move that there and it's gonna print like that, right? Or if you want it to be side by side, put one there, put one there, okay? So, it looks close together here, but it's going to scan these four borders and then it is going to cut out the circle here. It's only, 
it's only going to cut out the circles which is exactly what we want we do not want it to cut out the josephine's legacy the sewing machine and all that extra stuff anybody got time for that all right so <laughs> this is how you do it um you know and then you just press continue i do not have my cricut machine connected right now but if you press continue um i have the cricut join the maker you will select your machine here then um what you're going to do is you're going to connect to your printer okay so you'll have your printer ready you're going to send this to the printer and what it's going to do is it's going to or let's just say you've printed it somewhere else already you can select i have already printed but this is just easiest to do in one shot so you send this to your printer after it's printed out um you are going to continue to connecting to your maker and it's going to cut the circles and that is pretty much how it goes right so um please guys let me know if you have any questions any concerns um let's see some of your projects and i will um upload another video um in which uh probably in which i'm assembling the keychains or so something very short so hope you have an awesome and great day continue to make continue to design continue to create never stop creating remember to connect to this channel subscribe and turn on that notification bell for more awesome videos let's connect fam all right have a great one bye